We asked our teacher we can go down to the library and pick out a number of books only if we return our books because we have to take responsibility and um, be respectful of the bus because they cost money. And, 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 so you've, and, and so you've been uh, quite respectful of books and, and, and yes. responsibility and going to the library and checking out books. And, and even at, uh, in the third grade, you think that you can en encourage young people your age to become involved in the uh, celebration. We've got about five minutes. And, I, and involved in the celebration of this. Uh, I can't uh, make that understand because even though I, I'm smart, I can make them think like an eight-year-old because most of them are not, and I can make them think like a kid because I am a kid. I may know things that maybe a 20, 13 year old would know, mm -hmm. but I still can make them think like a child because I am one. Because I have the brain of a child, but I have the knowledge of somebody very older. Uh huh. And, and, and so you think that uh, through that, you can tell them, uh, and that's what we want you to do uh, by talking, by, by telling me what you're going to tell them, that you can tell them that they ought to get ready to uh, celebrate this 150th year uh, anniversary, not celebrate, they, they say not to say celebrate, but to commemorate this 150th year uh, uh, anniversary of the war between the North and the South that in a real sense gave Africans uh, their freedom with the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, the 14th Amendment, their citizenship rights, and uh, the uh, right to vote with the 15th Amendment. You think well, you can express that to them? Yes. Well, most of my kids are into arts and crafts, so I'll say, hey, y'all, can y'all make a poster of the sesquicentennial, the 150th anniversary of the Civil War? And they'd be like, uh, give me a couple facts and I can make it happen. I'll send them in some pictures, you know, give them some information, write them down some cards, and you know, they can make a heck out of a couple facts and some cards. They can make the greatest poster you have ever seen. Because once we made posters on animals that we picked, I picked the cat and leopard, somebody picked the American alligator, you know, the meerkat, the monkey, but yeah, they are into arts and crafts, so I can have them like make a poster and hang that size that says sesquicentennial. Okay, and so you, you, you think that as Tennessee prepares to uh, celebrate over the next five years, I mean next four years, I think up until uh, 2015, from now until 2015, uh, that uh, Tennessee is prepared to celebrate in the state of Tennessee uh, this, uh, uh, to celebrate the commemoration of this great uh, event and that both many activities took place in uh, the state of Tennessee. You think you could get that across to them as well? Yes, I, I can. Because, you know, I can get it across them because I know the words that will make them think like an eight-year-old, but I have the knowledge of somebody older, as I uh, recently said. And, 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 and so let me, uh, uh, as we get ready to wind this down, Alana, let me uh, see if we might be able to sort of summarize uh, what, we're trying, what, what, what uh, we are trying to accomplish here, because uh, you represent uh, what we consider to be the young person in a whole series that we're trying to create dealing with the commemoration of this great event. And uh, we want young people to know more about uh, the uh, commemoration. And we feel that if you can deal with the young people and talk to the young people in reference to it, as you are doing now, they will say to themselves, well, you know that uh, she's only eight years old and she knows something about uh, what happened. And well, so I can do I, the same. I can't like go out of class and say, hey, Trinity, do you want to know about the sesquicentennial? And she'll probably say, oh yeah, let's learn about it. And I'll tell her about Harry Tubman and what Bowser and Tavestry did. And, you know, I'll explain to her, and then she can tell her friends and stuff like that. But, yeah, I can really get them to understand that because it means a lot to me for them to understand that because them being eight years old and understand, and understand like that, by the time they're 13, they'll be understanding physics. <laughs> it just, it really... It strengthens me to know that all the kids have the opportunity to learn about all the good stuff that comes with mm -hmm. learning. Mm -hmm. Very good. We've got about a minute. Let me, uh, over this last minute, thank you for coming by and uh, giving us uh, that excellent information. And uh, I think that even though we might have uh, 
in some instances stumble through it together. I think that uh, the uh, idea here was to uh, simply give uh, our audience an opportunity and give your uh, young people an opportunity to know that this is something that uh, a commemoration that's important to all ages. And I think that when we go down to uh, the uh, eight year olds, it also indicates that uh, all ages really mean all ages because if your group understand more about the uh, events leading up to this uh, commemoration, then certainly uh, the older uh, individuals and older children will also know. And I think that we can say that uh, Tennessee will have a successful uh, commemoration of this uh, great event. And of course, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good, good morning. morning.